All right, for 17, uh, the variable's not x this time, but it's n, so we still have to get that by itself. So we've got to identify what we've got here, okay? So far, we've got a divide by positive 6. We've got a subtract 3, and we've got a or negative 3, and we've got a positive 4. And again, our goal is to get the variable by itself on one side of the equal sign. And it makes the most sense to just leave the variable by itself on the side that it's on. That's going to be less work for you to do. I mean, to be honest, you could subtract 4 and put this subtract 4 over here and make it negative 7 uh, and have this side be 0, which is fine. But you didn't really do yourself any favors doing that because now you have everything on the side with the end and now you've got to move everything back over and that's not necessary. So we want to get everything over on that side to start with. Okay? So in order to do that, we always want to get rid of our pluses and our minuses, those kind of things first. Okay? Save those divides and times and everything till the end. So I want to get this to go over here. So the opposite of this, or the inverse operation of this, would be to add 3. Okay, so I'll get rid of that. Now I just have to add 3 over here, which is just going to be positive 7. Positive 7 equals, uh, and then I've got n divided by 6. Okay, uh, I've got nothing else that has n with it, so I can't add this n to anything. Uh, basically, I have to focus on this divide by 6 to detach it pretty much from this n. Okay. In order to detach a divide by 6, you just do an inverse operation. So it would just be a times 6. Okay. If I times 6, it gets rid of all that right there. I have to times 6 on the other side. So now I just have n equals 42, and that's it. Okay. That's all you have to do. I do want to make sure that it's you know, correct, though, before we start, which would be a good thing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this n back into the problem. So here's the problem. I've got n, which is now 42 divided by 6, and then I've got subtract 3 equals positive 4. Now, if I work this problem and it works, then we're in good shape. I'm going to circle this because I know that it's got to come out to be 4 on this side since it's already 4 on this side. So if I do 42 divided by 6, that's going to be 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. They're both 4, so that works. So since both sides are equal, we know that n is going to equal 42. All right, last one we'll do on a video, uh, and then I'll let you work on your own here to see if you can figure things out. Uh, this one's got a fraction in it, which is fine. Uh, I think the overwhelming majority of you guys, in fact, not the overwhelming majority, every single person, um, you know, decided to, when we had these fractions in the distributed property stuff, change it to a decimal. And to be honest with you, I don't blame you. It's probably the faster way to do it anyway um, until you get, you know, one of these guys or if you get a really nice calculator uh, that does fractions for you. Um, I would change it to decimals too. I don't blame you because it takes a lot less time. So basically what we have here is uh, we've got positive 5. Here's our equal sign, so we know both sides have to be the same in the end. Uh, we've got 3 fourths, so if you want to change 3 fourths right away, you can. If you don't know how to do that on your calculator, you just do 3 divide 4, uh, and it's going to come out to 0.75. Now, hopefully everybody knows that 3 out of 4 is 75%, so it's 0.75, but if you don't, there you go. So we've got times 0.75. And we've got negative 1. The variable's already on this side, so we might as well move everything else to the other side to make a lot less work for us. So that means we got an inverse operation here that we can do with plus one, or with negative 1, which is going to be plus 1. So that gets rid of that. Uh, then we can do plus 1 right here. And 5 plus 1 is just going to be 6. So now we have 6 equals, then we still have our 0.75y. Now we're not going to do any adding or subtracting with this uh, 
because we can't because we don't have anything that's got a y after it to do that. I mean, I could I mean to be honest, I could subtract 0.75y, subtract 0.75y, put it over here, but it's not going to do us any good. If I did that, it'd look like this. Like I would do and I hope this doesn't confuse you. It shouldn't, but if I do minus 0.75y, that would be crossed out because that would be an inverse operation. And then on the other side, it would just look like 6 minus uh, 0.75y equals 0 because that would have canceled out. And now that doesn't do us any good because, you know, we've still got the y here and it's not by itself. So we're going to get rid of all that. We don't need any of that. So what we're going to do is... Uh, we're just going to detach this 0.75 from the y. Right now it's a times 0.75. So we're going to have to do a divide by 0.75 to get it detached. So we only have uh, y remaining. And then I just have to divide by the same thing on the other side. So if I divide by 0.75, uh, 6 divided by 0.75 I put 16. 6 divided by 0.75 is just straight up 8. Okay, So we put our 8 in here, uh, and then y equals 8. Now again, check and see if you're right. It's the easiest way to know if you're right or not. We're putting 8 in for y here. Okay, So I'll just write it back up at the top here. It was 5 equals 0.75 times our y, which is 8 and then subtract 1. Okay, This side is going to equal 5 because that's the only thing that's over there. Okay, Now I have to know is what 0.75 times 8 is, and it's 6. Okay, So this whole thing is 6, and 6 minus 1 is indeed 5, so we got the answer right. So that means for sure y equals 8 in this situation. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you um, work some of these problems on your own. I'll have a checking sheet ready for you so you can see how you did. Uh, but if you need to go back to this video, it's fine. If you need to ask questions, that's fine. Uh, but this is the step we got to get past before we can do the more uh, difficult stuff here.